Hi there, uh, Stephen here. Today I want us to look at Object Talk. And uh, Object Talk is a trick you can use to you know, customize your Windows experience and uh, enjoy having different docks on your computer. Uh, so it's the same thing as you can have your taskbar. Yeah, or as you can have Rocket Dock or any other dock for that matter. Um, you could get this from the internet, you just uh, type in object dock. You can either have the free version, which is free, but it doesn't give you these major things here. I come here down to not give you all this. So, but if you wanna spend a few, it's like 20 bucks and uh, get the full version, I um, mean the plus version. They are all full versions, but this one has more tweaks than the free version. So, if you click on download, it's gonna take you to CNET and you can download from there once you have it downloaded it should be looking something like this and uh, yeah let's get started with the installation double click on it yes go next save next next it's that quick Um, I must warn you though that I had it installed and I have installed it. So the other um, settings that I met before might still be there, but I will take you through the customization process one by one. So yeah, this is this is the object up, and this is what it looks like. As you install it, um, first thing I want to go to the settings. Keep this one here. Click on this to take it to the settings. Now you know how many icons you have if you want to know. If you want to hide your taskbar, you just go to settings and click on hide the Windows taskbar. You won't see it, nothing will ever appear there even if you put your mouse anywhere near the edges of the corner and don't wait until you uncheck that. So that's the only settings you can do here. But if you want to go to advanced settings and uh, tweaks and do this, you can check on this too. Automatically activate mouse over, mouse over tab when using auto hidden tapped docks. Oh, you can slow down the minimize the rest of animation. <coughs> that depends on your computer too. I wouldn't recommend this for a laptop because it's on battery, battery power. Might. Uh, go a little bit faster than you wanted it to. So once you go to position right here, this is where you decide if you want it on the top, if you want it on the side, or on the other side, like it to be on the bottom. And you can decide where you want it to go. I like it on the center. You can change the monitor that you are using more than one monitor screen. And you're gonna brush the edge of the screen. It's so uh, be careful if you reserve this, it will not allow you to change or modify the accessibility. Let's for instance, let's just do it deliberately. I'll show you why you shouldn't do that. <coughs> change the distance from the edge. Right now it's on automatically automatic. You can change that you can click. If you can check that you can always you know put it wherever you want. 
so I would say automatic <coughs> automatic distance okay so we are done with the position go to the size you can change that to you know pretty whatever you want it to be but for me like hmm, yeah, 48 px pixels that's okay for me when you, you zoom it you know how big you want it to be that's what it is about zoom size so you know, that's it so okay go to star so you can change the background I like to play around with the background so get to, to know the few backgrounds you have all these things are for free okay so this is one background that I like most so I'll just leave it at that you can change whatever you want to you can change the transparency of the background to the point that you know it won't be not no, noticeable anymore so you can tweak the drawing stretch you know enable background smooth stretching which is the one which is there right now or you can stretch background proportionally so that it goes with the icons you can also enable blur behind you can change edit icon transparency you know you can either have them transparent which will take you to ghost mode and I will talk about that later that means the icons will show on the the mouse over mover <laughs> once your mouse gets here that's when the mouse will I mean the icons will show so running in cadence you can change that too you can have this you can have that you can have usually this is the default and you can choose where at you know right here you can see it here you can choose how far it is from the icons I don't really mind this is the default you can use the plane you can use all the all the sidelines but yeah, it doesn't really matter and uh, this one won't allow you to do that because it's only for plus version. The effect here you can choose this, you can choose that, you can use that. And each effect we have different here. So and that's one thing you can do also accessibility. That's what I was telling you that when it's on the under position here if you enable this it will not allow you to change this usually it comes de by default it's on keep on top it's okay it means that every application you're running if it's not maximized then it won't affect this dock whatsoever it will always show but if it was something else for example I have this window. You see, you always see the dog here. But if I maximize it, it will disappear. That's basically what it means. So that's it. That's um, it's about the object dog, and it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, just like the rock and dog, it's all fun to use and good. So give it a try. Um, I'll make another video. I'll show you how to customize the icons and how like now you have YouTube icon here and uh, Google Chrome they all look the same but I'll show you how to change that thanks for watching it's been a long 10 minute video and I'm sure you're tired of it bye for now thanks